Hey, it's Mike again for another edition of the Tech Corner. Today we're going to go through replacing the SAS 5 RAID controller for PowerEdge servers. We're going to be replacing it, a failed unit on a PowerEdge 840, but the procedure is the same across the whole line. So we're going to start with our Phillips screwdriver, and depending on your server you may not even have to remove a screw. Like the 9th gens, they just have a button that will release so it's toolless, but in our case ours is secured to the chassis. We're not going to take any of the cables off the drives, we're going to leave them as they are. The only cable we're going to remove is from the SAS controller itself, which has two blue tabs on the side. They're going to pinch and lift straight off the card. Set that off to the side. The card itself lifts straight out. Now we're going to put our nice replacement SAS 5 controller in. It's going to put in the same socket that it was originally. Straight down. We're going to re-secure it with the screw. Now we're going to hook up our SAS cable. Push that straight down, it clicks. And now we're going to turn on the server. And this is the part that's a little tricky. It's going to come up with a status message saying that the RAID is inactive. Right here. So go into the inactive or inoptimal. So we have to go into the configuration to investigate. Unfortunately, since I was explaining it, I have to reboot to get back into it. Now to get into the firmware for the controller, it's control C on the keyboard when the initialization button comes up. It takes a little bit to think. At the main menu here, we're just going to hit enter. We're going to arrow down to RAID properties. Manage virtual disk, we're going to hit enter again. We also see that our RAID is currently inactive. So we're going to arrow down to activate array. Hit Y. Now we'll hit enter on our RAID properties one more time. We're going to view our array. And then you're going to see now, and this is the part that's a little scary, is that your RAID 1, in our case was a mirror, is no longer synced. What it does is it takes your RAID 1, brings it back to a zero, but resyncs it. So you'll see here it's at a 0% sync. It'll automatically go back and redo the RAID 1. You still have all your data on your main drive, so it'll go into your OS but it'll resync the mirror, so this takes a little bit of time, depending on how big your drives are. And that's how you re-install uh, a failed SAS 5 RAID controller.